Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Right here, I've been mining for, what's that say, 28 minutes? And look at the bottom row. All right, I'm hashing out at 348 kilohashes a second. I got no difficulty, no workers, no total hash rate. Okay. And I'm mining, right now, I am mining on digibyte.solopool.org or something like that. But anyways, I'm not mining Bitcoin. All right. Now, the other thing I want to show you is I'm going to change pages on this. Let's see if I can do it right here quick. There's the clock. All right. And if you notice at the top, oh, come on. Focus, focus. Notice at the top, it says the, um, well, if you go in the center there, it says block height is 793. Digibyte is only about 227 right now. It says at the top there, $92,910. You know Digibyte's not worth that much. But this miner is mining on Digibyte dot solo. So why isn't it reflecting Digibyte money, Digibyte block height, Digibyte this, Digibyte that? It's all on what is called API, Access Point of Information. Most all pools have that ability to give you an API, but not all of them do. Okay. Now, the Nerd Miner version 2 is set for four different pools that will give it proper API so that it'll give you the proper worker count, the proper best difficulty, the proper best um, hash rate. And that is um, publicpool.io, pool.nerdminers.org, Seth, pro uh, Seth for privacy.org and poolminers.de or something like that. You want to see it real quick? I can show you the four pools. I can show you right in the firmware of Nerdminer version 2. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. Watch. I'm going to bring it up. Here it is right here. These are the four pools that will put out the proper API for the Nerd Miner version 2, and that is publicpool.io, pool.nerdminers.org, pool.sethforprivacy.com, and pool.soloMining.de. Those are the four pools that when the your nerd miner goes out to that pool and asks for the API information about your coin address it will show you the proper um, let me come back it will show you the proper information down at the bottom okay that is what is called API and that is it's it's burned into the firmware of your nerd miner version 2 if you if you guys are coders out there okay you can go into the nerd miner um, firmware and change it because it's open sourced now if you're on NM miner you can't that is a closed source firmware you cannot get into it you cannot change anything but you can change all the API calls with the nerd miner if you have the skills to go into VS Code, Platform I.O., and so on and so forth, okay? Now, that is why a lot of times all the information on your nerd miner will be all squirrely if, say, that all of a sudden you, you veer off and you take some of my advice and say, oh, forget about BTC. Go out and get yourself some Digibyte. Go to Zpool. Go to Bowser Labs. Go to ice miners, go to um, brains pool, so on and so forth. And when you do, when you venture away from the um, pools that the, is built into the firmware, your graphics are going to be all squirrely. Okay? So, because <laughs> right now, let me just change pages on this. How do you do that? I'm going to change pages. 
So again, this is mining on uh, Digibyte. All right, it's, give me the global stats. It's going out right now to the API. It says that my block height is 793. I know for a fact right now, Digibyte is only about 227. And look at the, the price of the coin up there at the top. Matter of fact, let me change pages. Let's see if it comes with the price. Digibyte is not $92,000 right now. And that's what I'm mining on. And I want my $92,000 because my miner says that I am mining on Digibyte. And it says that Digibyte is at $92,000. So I want my money. <laughs> I can hear it right now. Would, would you <laughs> wake up early in the morning and see that your miner has changed pages and you're mining Digibyte? And when you went to bed, you checked on, on the pool and it said... Digibyte is at 0 0.006 and you wake up in the morning and you look at your miner and it says $92,000? I'd be ecstatic! <laughs> but anyways guys, that is what's called API call. And that's why I am an advocate of not using miners with graphic user interfaces. Granted, yes, looks pretty on your desk and everything else, but if you if you're more into actually you know going out there and mining and want to make make a couple of pennies and whatnot get rid of the graphic user interface and just um go on get your information directly from the pool okay so just to go through this again i i, I mean this really doesn't need a practical or anything like this this one here is more commentary is going to get it across to you guys is that if if you change your your um, pools, okay. If you change, I, I wish that would come in better, but if you change from those four pools that I told you about and go out and explore and have fun and get your miner on other freaking pools, the information that your graphic user interface is not going to be correct because of what is called API, access point information, okay? That is how your graphics gets all that information, okay? The only one thing that is going to be correct on your miner all the time is the clock, because that comes from a global clock, okay? <coughs> UTC clock, and it'll always be correct for you. If you set it up correctly in the when you, you know, you first set up your miner, if you put in, you know, the minus, minus two or minus three, or I'm minus five for um, Eastern time. If you set that up properly, that's the only thing that will ever be correct on the nerd miners graphic user interface. If you get away from the four pools that the firmware is looking for, that's the only thing that will be correct is the, in my, computer just decided to shut off on me it is the clock okay um, did I beat that dead horse enough all right API calls that is why your nerd miner is showing all zeros don't throw it away it's mining it is mining but don't believe anything you see on the the uh, you know the screen okay hmm. like subscribe Leave comments down below and we'll see you on the next one. API calls. <laughs>